Throughout Central and Eastern Europe, Catholic dioceses were persecuted and stripped of their land and churches under the Soviet Union. Now, 30 years after its fall, American Catholics have raised $3.56 million to support them in rebuilding their faith communities. They endured a lot of oppression and persecution. And when it was time for the Soviet bloc to dissolve back in the early 90s, the land was not necessarily given back. So they had to rebuild from the ashes. And what we're doing, our purpose is sort of the three R's, and that is to rebuild as well as restore with resolve. Bishop Monfortin of Steubenville, Ohio, oversees the U.S. Bishops' Conference's initiatives in Eastern Europe. He says that the church in the United States has a responsibility to help other Catholic communities in need around the world. In the visits I've made to Albania, Kyrgyzstan, and others, these are the peripheries. They're trying to rebuild, and it takes resources they don't have. We have those resources. We have responsibility. We are our brothers and sisters keeper. The projects supported by the collection range from constructing a cathedral in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, to offering resources for pregnant mothers in Georgia. The church in Central and Eastern Europe has also been a recent focus of Pope Francis, who has announced he will be traveling to Budapest, Hungary, and Slovakia in September. For Bishop Monfortin, the Pope's gesture is an example of his powerful outreach. It's a reminder that for people of Slovakia that they're not forgotten. And the Holy Father, Pope Francis, is putting his actions behind his words by reaching out to the peripheries. Because you have some Central and Eastern European countries that are bouncing back, others that are really going to need a lot more training wheels before they can really make it there. The Catholic community in Central and Eastern Europe will be sure to receive attention from around the globe during the Pope's visit to Slovakia, a reminder of the unity within the Universal Church.